Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how you can add a custom widget here on your dashboard. So you can see that we have users, posts, and pages. And as we had seen in a previous video, this is defined inside of our config voyager.php. So if we scroll down to where we see dashboard widgets, and say we were to remove this page widget, and we save that and go back to our app and reload, you can see now that we only have two widgets. So let's go ahead and create our own custom widget. So I'm going to go into the application and you can see we have this namespace TCG Voyager widgets user dimmer and we also have this post dimmer. So let's go ahead and find that. So since we know the namespace, we can search for this inside of the TCG folder Voyager and we'll look inside of the source. And you can see we have a widgets folder and then sure enough we have the post dimmer widget right here. So let's copy this and then let's create a new folder inside of our app folder and let's just call this widgets. And now inside of there, let's create a new file, paste that in, and maybe we just want to call this products. So then we'll need to change the name of this to products, and we'll say that we want the name to be app slash widgets instead of tcg slash voyager slash widgets. So let's go ahead and add this widget. Should be inside of the app widgets products. So let's save that, let's go ahead and reload. And now you can see that we have the post because we just copied the post and then put it into our app widgets folder. So let's change that instead of this being post, we actually want it to reflect the products. So I'm just going to say that I want this to be app slash product count. So I want to count the number of products and instead of the Voyager news icon, I want this to be the Voyager bag icon. And for the text, I'm just going to change this to products. And then right here, this route, I want it to be voyager.products.index. So if I save that, we go back here and reload, and it's actually saying it doesn't know where the app slash product, and that's because I need to make this slash app slash product. So if I reload that, now you can see that it says one post. It says you have one post in your database. So we did update the icon right here. So let's go back and let's see where it's getting this text right here. So let's just go ahead and change this to products. And then we have the string right here. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's reload. Now we have one products. And sure enough, if we click on the products button, we will then be taken to the products section. So then we can also change the background if we would like. So I like to go to unsplash.com. They have a lot of really cool backgrounds. So maybe I just want to search for shop. Uh, let's see, product maybe. Okay, let's see if we can find one that we might want to use. Well, that one just looks cool. Okay, let's just go ahead and use this one. So let's download that. This is going to be a large image, so you may actually want to shrink this down a little bit. But let's go ahead and take that, and then I'm going to open up my application. And maybe I just want to store this inside of the public folder. And I'm just going to rename this to products-bg. So I can just reference this by saying it's going to be inside of was that slash products-bg. Okay, let's go ahead and test that out. Let's see if we go back here and reload. And now you can see that we have that new background. And like I said, it did take a little while for that to load and that's probably because you want to resize that image. So just like that, you can create your own custom widgets and then you can have all these widgets on your dashboard.